Okay, welcome back. This is our second uh, pair PHP video tutorial. This is video number two um, about uh, the PHP extension and application repository. In this video, we're going to demonstrate in what ways uh, PHP can be installed and ran on the Windows operating system. So um, I'm using Windows Vista Ultimate. Um, so those of you who have Macs or Linux, um, unfortunately you're going to have to find some other videos um, but um, let's get to it uh, the first way that uh, uh, I have uh, PHP installed on my computer I run I can design PHP applications in expression web here um, this is a very very great tool um, for PHP um, you can um, run it in the expression web's uh, development server using the using the copy as PHP's uh, CGI interface file and uh, you know it, expression web is probably the best you know uh, what you see what you get uh, editor out there yes it's better than Dreamweaver Weaver, I'm saying that um, so that's one of the ways I run uh, PHP on my system um, the other way is through uh, the designer PHP uh, personal designer uh, or designer personal 2007 and uh, you know this has a great debugger uh, for PHP uh, if you go down here uh, and configure the debugger and use the PHP exe file and the PHP ini file uh, you know instances of that that means copies of those files and, and install them on, on, on your system um, it, 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 it's PHP designer is definitely a, a great uh, uh, design tool um, it's not a what you it's not technically a what you see what you can get editor but I mean if you once you learn PHP it's a very helpful tool the third way and this is the way we're going to install PHP using the WAMP server which is the Windows Apache MySQL PHP uh, server for Windows is one of the most common ways that a lot of PHP especially beginner developers uh, uh, use it or have it installed on their systems um, so what you do is just go to the website, um, download it. Um, it comes with the latest version of 5.30, uh, PHP 5.30, and the latest versions of Apache and MySQL. And I already have it uh, downloaded um, here, so I'm going to go ahead and open it up and install it on my system. And it's very easy to to install as you can see they give you the dialog box I already have a web folder set up so um, it's just gonna add the elements that it needs to add to that folder and if you don't have a web folder don't set it up just allow uh, the installation process to set it up for you and if you have a computer system and it has at least two gigs of RAM if you're using Vista and if eventually you're going to be using seven make sure it has at least two gigs of RAM and the more RAM the better Microsoft says it that you can run these systems on one gig but you know don't try it I mean you, you're you're gonna sit or, sit in front of your computer all day if you're trying to run these powerful pro applications in just using one gig of RAM getting back to the installation it's asking me that it has detected Firefox on my system and do I want to use it as my default browser and of course I do um, you know and it's gonna create a home page uh, I had already had one created but it's gonna override that which is fine um, you could also send mail uh, via PHP if you have a mail server installed on your uh, system um, I have a quasi mail server I use my Outlook uh, server um, on my on this machine um, but you can download uh, free web servers or, or, or purchase an application you know that that a web server uh, I mean a mail server application uh, but for this purposes I just used uh, you know the, the my wife's uh, staffing agency's uh, mail server um, so it's the WAMP server is, is installed but it's not gonna run because right now it's um, it's it's defaulted to the port of 80 and on my system the port 80 is ran by IIS 7 which is Microsoft's uh, development server or oh, it's not a development server yeah I can actually run websites off of this IIS, IIS 7 so what I do is I go ahead and go to the 
this is the control panel for your WAMP server. I go to the Apache server's uh, ACT config file, HTTP uh, config file, and just change the settings. Uh, the ports instead of 80, I just put 800, and you can put the port to anything. Um, and you know, localhost and do the port and just save it. Again, get out of that and. I already have a bookmark for uh, WAMP server and just to show you that it is installed you gotta restart all your server well you don't have to restart all your services you can only just restart Apache services but once you see this little icon down here in your uh, your application run tray uh, going it says that uh, WAMP server is ready to go and uh, just click refresh and as you can see the interface of WAMP, the home page of WAMP server is ready um, you have the info file that shows you the configurations of uh, MySQL, PHP, and Apache. You have the uh, PHP My Admin folder. Uh, you know for your interface to design and well not design to to compose databases and wherever you whatever projects that you have. You know you're going to be running PHP and you know you can look at tutorials on the WAMP server and PHP and how to install that on your system. And so that's how we install PHP on our systems. And this is very important because the way you have it installed on your system is going to be critical in how you install pair on your system and that's what we're going to be discussing in the, in the, in the next um, uh, video tutorial so I'm glad that you um, are watching these tutorials um, I've worked hard you know to, um, to to get these things going and you know I, I wanted to show you uh, this is one of the first websites I designed um, that has a uh, not software that I designed, but gave me the inspiration to go ahead and and to become a, 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 a actual web application programmer, not just a designer or a webmaster, and to design complex um, and dynamic uh, applications. This is my wife's website, and the, because of the software, we went from a, a local Winter Park, Florida staffing agency to a national staffing agency, placing people all over the country, recruiting all over the country. Um, and as you can see, it's got a nice design, and you know that's thanks to you know I got with a lady named Kelly Lucas in Expression Web Tutorials, and um, she is real good at CSS and giving. You, she has the best video tutorials out there because they're very personal, they're very simple, easy for you to understand. You don't have to be a rocket scientist or a guru, um, even though she is. She's a guru. Um, and uh, but you know check out her sites and all the all the websites that I expose you to you can um, you can go um, I, I, I give you the links or the URLs at the end of my videos um, and lastly but not least I wanted to show you that uh, yeah, I'm working with a partner um, his name is Ronald McQueen and he has a company called 712 group and they design websites for people like AAA and you know work on websites for them and you know do things with the census and he's a DJ uh, as a side presenter profession so he did his own website and he's very hooked to PHP and MySQL so it was one of the reasons why I'm doing one of these videos is just you know just to help those guys who are into web design and are trying to get into dynamic websites go so um, I hope to see you in the next video and I hope you enjoyed this one and we're going to install pair we're going to get back to pair we're going to install pair in the next video tutorial so that we can get into some pair programming some pair tutorials of you PHP uh, uh, designers and programmers get ready and get excited see you in the next video well I hope you watch the next video thank you